So today I am showing you some of my previous art pieces. I'm also going to make something while I explain some of my art, yes. Art has always ended up being another form of my self-expression, which these are some of mine right here. So for example, when I started taking my first dance classes when I was in sixth grade, I created this flamingo piece right here to express my beginning passion and my absolute love for dancing because I'd never done it before and ballet was my first style of dance that I began. And I can really like channel that in to making one passionate piece of art. And then over here are some of my cartoon or manga inspired digital art pieces which are part of my 12 series collection that I made last year. And I also created this piece which is a monochromatic painting of Ion from Stray Kids. And this piece I actually made for my sister because she's in college, but we really got to bond this year through music and I introduced her to K-pop and our first group was Stray Kids. And so being able to bond with her through music was one of the ways that we really grew together this year, which is why it was really sad when she had to go off to college. But this piece is made for her and I will be giving it to her so that she can hold a piece of me with her whenever she's in college. When I was younger, I looked up to her a lot, so I would follow in her footsteps. And she's a very big art person as well. In fact, she, she was my inspiration for art growing up. That's amazing. And so, JRP, I remember when we first met, you gave me the necklace that is over there to welcome me and invite me to be here. So this is my way of saying thank you. I'm glad to be here. I have made a little dog. <laughs> oh my god. So this is my way of saying thank you. I'm glad to be here. Wow. That is so cute. Is, isn't this, wow. Wow, if Kendall becomes a global star, like this will be something to inherit to my daughters. <laughs> Kendall, you are interesting. I think being interesting is such a huge advantage because even in your normal life, you keep on expressing your feelings and emotions through a whole lot of different ways, right? Because you need skills to do that. Like, I swear I can't do this. <laughs> Not only your art is impressive, I'm so impressed how eloquent you are with your words. Not a lot of people can express their thoughts that clearly. You don't even raise your voice but the delivery is so good, you don't even mumble while you're talking. I would feel so safe if you're doing interviews for the team. <laughs> wow. That was great, please come here. That was great, please come here. Okay.